Welcome to Budget TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli, and today we're going to be answering the question: Can I afford a private jet? In this episode, you're going to hear about you know the cost to buy one of these planes, um, running the plane, you know how much it's going to cost to run it, all the different problems that can arise, uh, why you shouldn't really pay cheap money and don't be influenced by the price. So lots of things, and you know hopefully we'll you know guide you through the process in this video. Uh, but you know. You can't just watch this video and think you know it all. Uh, it's just the beginning and it does give you an idea. And you know, this is a purchase which you're going to be making, which needs to be thought out carefully. You need to seek the right advice, but you also need to have a bit of a, uh, a kind of a, an outline of, of, of knowledge yourself um, before you go and make this important acquisition. Because as I always say, you know, it's not like buying a car where if something goes wrong, you can stop on the side of the road. This thing goes up into the air at 35,000 feet. You need to be safe. You need to make this purchase carefully and you know and in this video i'll be revealing a se the secret really to buying a private jet and you know uh, the mindset you need to have in doing this now uh, before we start i just want to announce av buyer magazine and budget tv have just done a deal we are collaborating now the first article i wrote is out now on the ad buyer website you can click on the link below to drive you to that interesting article about innovation and private jets and I'll be showing you a little bit more about this article later on in the video. And also this is going to be published in Ad Buyer Magazine uh, May 2021 issue. And from May onwards, there's going to be an article every month uh, uh, written by myself. So this is a great collaboration. Also, Bizjet TV are now going to be featured on the Ad Buyer website. So a big collaboration between Ad Buyer and uh, Bizjet TV. And I do encourage you to pick this magazine up. It's it, it distributed in all the FBOs around the world, but you can also write to them and they will send you a copy. Uh, it's a great, great magazine, lots of interesting content in there and also on the website. So I encourage you to go to the Ad Buyer uh, website and see the content that's produced there. Lots of interesting info. So if you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to Bizjet TV. Uh, comment below. We'd love to hear your recommendations and suggestions and click on that notification bell so that every time a video is published, you'll be notified. And that's all from me on this intro. So let's get into answering that question for you. Can I afford a private jet? Off we go. So you've asked yourself that question, can I afford a private jet? And that's why you landed on this video. So this is what we're gonna do here is answer the question for you. Yes, you can go online and you can buy a private jet today even for two, three hundred thousand dollars. And some people say, well, great, you know, we can do that. Uh, let's buy this Learjet for two hundred thousand dollars or Citation or whatever it may be. But then, you know, you're going to have to pay to operate this airplane. You're going to have to pay insurance. You're going to have to pay to maintain the airplane. You're going to have to pay the pilots unless you fly the airplane yourself. Uh, you're going and, you know, and you may say, well, I'll learn to fly. That way I can, you know, I'll learn a new skill. Uh, but, you know, even if you do learn to fly, and you're not a professional pilot. You have to make sure you have the right training and that you, you keep training and, and have good instructors to make sure that your safety level is up. Because, you know, as I always say, the safety record in private aviation is five times worse than the airlines. And guess who are the people that are driving this safety record down and down and down, and making it worse? It's the actually the owner pilots. So if check the video I did on owner pilots. Um, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm not saying owner pilots are bad. I'm just saying if you're going to be an owner pilot, you have to be professional in your approach. Like my friend over in New York who owns a Honda jet, he puts himself through a lot more training. He uses instructors that fly with him periodically just to make sure that he's doing things in the right way and he's improving all the time and he's staying safe. That's the way to approach it. Approach it professionally, even if you're not a professional pilot and, and you do intend to you know, buy and operate your own private jet. So you know, you spend the $200,000, $300,000 on the jet. There are a lot of hidden costs when you, when you buy an airplane uh, or unexpected costs, let's call it. And the older the airplane, and if it hasn't got a good pedigree, pedigree, it could have all sorts of problems crop up, which are unexpected. And sometimes when you buy the older airplanes that, you know, haven't been built for the last 15 years, you have to sort of figure out, are spare parts available? And is it easy to get hold of these spare parts? If something goes wrong and you're in an outback place of the world and you're waiting for the spare part, you could be waiting for two or three months. I've heard horror stories of people that have been sitting you know, airplanes being grounded for two or three months. So this is the question or the mindset you have to have when you're looking to buy a private jet. Don't think about buying an airplane. Think about buying time. So you want something that's going to be reliable. The number one reason people buy a private jet is to save time. So you want to buy something that's going to be reliable, something that if it does break down, because planes do break down, it can be fixed fairly quickly and get back into the air. 
because you know this is a tool it's a business tool for you you want it to be able to work if it doesn't work then you know what's the point in buying the aircraft i mean you have to figure out how much it's going to cost and, you know and these jets that cost two or three hundred thousand dollars will cost you about a million dollars a year to run them depending of course on how many hours you're going to fly and there are fixed costs which you pay even if you don't fly like hangar insurance pilots certain maintenance events you still have to do even if the aircraft doesn't fly and remember airplanes are built to be in the air not sat in the hangar that doesn't mean you shouldn't fly 100 hours a year 100 hours a year is fine 100 to 150 hours a year it used to be you know private jet ownership was a good idea if you were going to fly over 200 hours but now with all the lockdowns and everything people are uh, realizing the convenience of having an airplane available 24 7 sitting in the hangar that you control you control the pilots you control the plane um, there's a great advantage to having that but you know you don't necessarily have to go down the route of buying a jet what you could do is you could actually lease one for a year or a year and a half that is an option as well that's worthwhile looking at but you know whatever you decide to do uh, please if you're not an aviation expert yourself is seek the services of an aviation advisor like myself um, I can certainly help you now uh, entry level jet you can click on the on the link above on the entry level jet your entry level jet gives you a few ideas um, and also recently I did a panel with Martin and Sean a um, couple of panels about refurbished airplanes you can check that one out and also the one we did after that which is all about you know which is the right refurbished jet for you where we talk about all the different types of airplanes um, and we go into a different different types and the pros and cons of these airplanes and that um, so click on that link uh, of that video that's an interesting one as well so overall you know when you buy an aircraft you've got the acquisition cost you've got the you know the fixed cost and then the variable costs such as fuel landing fees things like that and certain maintenance events which are linked to hours flown and cycles cycle means every time the landing gear comes down and up that's a cycle so those uh, you know are going to have a cost so you really need to look into it uh, in with the big picture um, and finding out about the reliability of the airplane the pedigree of the particular airplane you're looking at um, and when I say pedigree it means you know the type of aircraft um, what accidents have these aircraft had what caused the accident um, the accidents uh, also look into who has operated the airplane has it been operated by one owner or multiple owners was it chartered out who flew the airplane how it was flown how it was maintained this will tell you if this airplane is going to be reliable boroscopic check on the engines is one uh, that you need to do and I've checked the video I did with Martin about aircraft maintenance you can click on that link above so there's lots of things that you need to know and for somebody that's not an aviation person it can become you know quite quite a big daunting uh, project uh, to take on the aircraft and that's why you know having an aviation advisor is a really good idea but at the same time you need to have a bit of a feel of how this whole aircraft ownership thing works which is why we created BizJet TV and if you haven't subscribed to the channel I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around at the other 300 plus videos we've got on here and also check my recent article I, I, I wrote for Avbio magazine um, we've just done a deal with Avbio magazine so as of May uh, 2021 there'll be an article in there uh, written by me every month and uh, so that's going to be interesting and the uh, first article is already live on the website so you can click on the link below it will take you straight to that uh, article which is all about innovation and private jets and there's a three case histories I talk about three different entrepreneurs and um, how they use the private jet and they bought the private jet very early on um, in their business and they used it to grow the business uh, a lot of people think that in a private jet is something that someone acquires after they've been successful but no it can work also in the beginning but you need you need to have the money um, and you need to understand what it costs so as I said yes you can buy something for two to three hundred thousand uh, dollars be very careful though uh, lest you spend because uh, you may be spending a lot more money later on maybe a million million and a half to operate the aircraft a year and then there may be some unexpected maintenance events which could cost you even a million or a million and a half so you think you've done a you've got a good deal by buying a plane for four hundred thousand dollars and then suddenly you're spending a million in unscheduled maintenance uh, which you hadn't had, and the aircraft's down during that time it could be two or three months uh, so you know look into it carefully uh, look at it as a big picture remember you're buying time you're not buying a plane um, so can I afford a jet of course you need to have a certain level of wealth to be able to start this game uh, but you know you can always charter to start with you could do fractional ownership or buy into a program like that wheels up offers for example um, that can get you started 
um, or you could lease an aeroplane. That's another option uh, that you could look for. So that's really it on this episode about can I afford a private jet. If you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Lots of videos here and uh, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Click on the notification bell so every time a video is published, you're notified. You can get straight in and see what we have to share with you. Videos are published every week and uh, sometimes even more than once a week. So lots of content here for you. We'd love to hear your comments and suggestions and recommendations for future videos. So I encourage you to look at this video, which refurbished jet is right for you, that I did with Sean and Martin. Great um, panel here, uh, the engineer's perspective, the pilot's perspective on you know the private jet and which ones work. And we talk about different private jets in this particular episode. So click on that one there. And that's all for Vlitsa Party on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.